Well, YouTube, this is RVing. I love it. <laughs> Oh my goodness um I, I like these glasses because they highlight everything they make they make it seem like you're in a different world tiki torches have not gone out and it is what it is we all know that sometimes it is what it isn't um every once in a while it is what it isn't but right now it is what it is so i just thought i'd let everybody know that <laughs> I've fallen asleep twice in this chair so far. All right, guys, I tried to take a bunch of pictures of it, but the camera's just not wide enough. Um, the rainbow's still there, but it's a full arch. You need a really wide view of it. Oh, the left is disappearing. I was just standing out here with my cell phone and you could see the the whole arch from where I was at. This is one of the most beautiful things ever. Million dollar view here. You never know what you're gonna experience. This was a lot more bright like three minutes ago before I went to grab the camera. You could see the whole thing. Just absolutely brilliant. So beautiful. Double rainbow. Have you guys seen a woo happen before with the rainbow right behind it? Maybe not. Maybe you have, but you're about to get it again. Woo! <laughs> awesome. Hello. So it is the 4th of July, and um, we didn't really have much planned. Just, um, I think everybody else has got so many different things planned that, uh, well, my mom came and picked, picked uh, us up, and I'm going to go to a new place to see the fireworks today. going to go to Stillwater, Minnesota, and uh, for what I hear, it's very, very beautiful there. I have not spent very much time there, so what's the matter? Something wrong with the car? We're on the side of the freeway. We don't know what happened. We smelled gas. And, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> Gotta wait for a second <laughs> until you can hear me. This is a loaner car that my mom got while uh, her car is being worked on and it broke down. We're on the side of the freeway. I, I guess we won't be going to Stillwater now. But we're calling a tow agency right now, and uh, my sister's on her way to pick us up. So, we smelled gas like really, really bad. Don't really know what it is, but the car won't start again now. <laughs> what do you think, Rick? Yeah, it's kind of scary smelling that gas. Yeah, <laughs> kind of scary. I'm just, I'm just hoping that uh, we don't get hit by a 4th of July drunk on the side of the road here. So they're coming by pretty fast. Woo! Doing some freeway camping. <laughs> Taking a negative and making a positive out of it. Oh yeah. Good times, uh, just. You know, relaxing on the side of the road. Relaxing on the side of the freeway. If we're gonna be stuck on the side of the road, we might as well have fun, right? <laughs> Woo! People are lighting their fireworks off. You know it's the 4th of July. Uh, you might be asking why we have our chairs with. Well, we were. this is what we were gonna use to watch the 4th of July fireworks with. <laughs> my sister's on her way to pick up pick uh, us up and uh, there's somebody on the way to pick up the car good times Woo! all right
right, the tow truck just got here. We're uh, we're all just. We're, oh, there's Bridget, I think. Um, tow truck just got here. We're all just sitting on the side of the highway. But you know, if I gotta say, uh, the weather is real nice right now. Got a nice breeze and all that. So there's a positive to it. <laughs> wow, look how he does that. Yeah, that's real easy, isn't it? <laughs> then I'll just lift it up. And be ready to go. Hi. Oh, hey. Fun Fourth of July, huh? Oh yeah, oh yeah. We were hoping for this. How long until your ride gets here? Yeah. Yeah, she had to go down. I had to go down to Hampton to come back. Yeah. Okay, YouTube. So as you saw, the tow truck driver got there. Um, my sister picked us up. We were gonna go out to eat somewhere pretty cool in uh, Stillwater. Stillwater, but that's not gonna happen now. So now we're just gonna get some KFC. Has anybody else noticed that the KFC? Wings and thighs and all that are just so much smaller now than they used to be. <laughs> They're just like feeding us baby <laughs> chickens or something. <laughs> used to be huge. You want a real what is up, YouTube? <laughs> Having KFC with my fam fam. <laughs> There's my little nephew, Michael. Hey. And then my other nephew over here, Daniel. They're growing so fast, I get the two mixed want? up what kind of sometimes. You want, buddy? Is that good, buddy? Yeah. You want okay. A <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> well, even though the car broke down and we could have been sitting on the side of the road for hours waiting for a tow truck, it actually happened really quick. Within the first probably half hour or 45 minutes, we were out of there. And now we went with my sister to uh, Cambridge and we found a spot here we're parked over there um, at the entrance so we can just get right out of here when it's over and uh, Mike's taking off <laughs> dance Michael woo everybody give me a woo three two one woo woo <laughs> America, fudge yeah. Oh, Ooh, ah. Well, that was short and sweet. Um, now we're trying to get out of here. A lot of people around. I know why. Mom, What's that? A uh, map of where we're going. Mom, the cool. lights are broken. That's the... So we'll be going here any minute. Oh, people have to cross the road. That was what, like 15 minutes of fireworks? Yeah. Something like that? 20 minutes. Yeah. Tomorrow will probably be better. Flicker Birds is actually pretty good normally. Well, 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 YouTube. I normally don't do this. In fact, this is the first time I've ever done it. For years now, I've gotten um, emails from companies wanting me to review their product in a video. And I just never really um, thought that the products were very cool and just never ended up doing it because I was on the road at the time. Wouldn't have anywhere to send it to anyways. Um, but a few weeks ago, a company called <clears throat> Wopet actually reached out to me and I thought their product was really cool. So I said, yes, I will review your your product here. And this is just, <laughs> this is just so cool. I mean, it, it is, <clears throat> as an RVer, you're gonna have to leave your your pets behind from time to time to go to go just to go do stuff and um, this allows you to check on your dog it's got it's the uh, Wopet 
intelligent dog camera with treat dispenser it's it, this thing's got everything it's got a uh, real-time alerts remote feeding uh, it you know just a whole list of things you, it'll toss you can see your dog you can talk to your dog and you can also toss it a treat from your cell phone wherever you're at all right guys it was actually a really easy setup <laughs> I am just tickled. <laughs> this is so funny. I've got the treat dispenser right there. And uh, you can see Selber on the camera. I think she could smell the treat. She knows something's going to go on here. What I do here. Watch, it's going to throw her a treat. Selber, what's it? Doesn't always happen right away. What the heck, it just worked before. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, they did not provide treats in the box, so I just took her regular treats here and uh, I just broke them off a bunch of pieces. So let's give it another try here. <laughs> Silver sniffing the camera. Okay. You want it? You want the treats? There we go. Somebody got the treatsy poos. Yeah. So the treat dispenser uh, seems like it works all right. It always provides a treat, it just takes about three tries. And I don't know if that's because I've got the wrong kind of treats in there or whatnot, but let's give her one more. Oh, look at that sober. <laughs> it's got a nice cap here that keeps the food fresh and a seal on it. And I can watch sober. Let's see here. Sober good girl. Hey, sober. So I can talk to her, obviously. Yeah, can you hear me, sober? You want to treat you, poos? Here we go. Okay. You're going to treat in a second. There you go. There you go. Good girl. Woo. And that's what I got for a view. <laughs> I am just tickled with this thing, pretty cool. All right, I set up the Woolpet um, automatic dog feeder. I put a little bit of dog food in there. It's relatively easy to set up, although I don't know why they're going by military time. Um, but fortunately, I know that it's one o'clock right now, so I know that's 1,300 hours. Um, I just happen to know that. I don't know uh, if a lot of people actually know that or not or the reason behind it but uh that's the way maybe i'm missing a setting maybe there's a setting somewhere to change it um okay i don't know but uh here we go i think you just hold down the manual button you can set down you can set breakfast lunch and dinner and it will feed at any time that you set you just hit breakfast and then you just hit the hour button and it'll feed automatically at that time but let's try to Let's see how this works here. It's gonna, every time you hold the manual button down, it'll feed one portion. Okay, okay. Well, that's kind of like a little treat there. Let's try it again. Yeah, I think it's just got it. That's not a whole lot, is it? <laughs> I think they could feed more. Um, maybe I got to set the portions higher or something, but it's very cool and I'm looking forward to using it. You, there's both of these, the, uh, intelligent dog camera and, uh, the automatic pet feeder is, uh, they both come with really long cords, but this one, you could actually just put D batteries in it and it won't even need to be plugged in. You know, also just in case the, the power ever stops. Nice little top here. 
to keep the dog it's a locked to keep the dog from eating all the food while you're gone and yeah I like it if you guys are interested in getting one of uh, one or both of these um, I have the link for the company in the description below peace out Woo!